On tap, Enigma Sour Brown Ale. Hi, I'm Andrew Lewandowski, and this is your Better Beer Authority. Today, we're going to be drinking Enigma, a sour brown ale from New Glarus Brewing Company out of New Glarus, Wisconsin. This sour is described by the brewery as a complex and intriguing original. The mystery began with wild, ferment, wild yeast spontaneously fermenting a rich treasure of malted barley and cherries. Unlined oak casks breathe deep vanilla hues and cords of smoke into the sour brown. We'll be drinking the 2015 version of this extremely limited release. I've reached out to Nuclearis and they confirmed that this was, the, this was last brewed back in 2012 and it's always said that they make no promises to ever brew this style again. There's no labeling of the ABV or IBUs on the packaging or on the brewery's website. Enigma does come in four packs of 12 ounce bottles and it currently receives a 93 from Beer Advocate and an overall rating of 99 on Rate Beer. Let's see what the guys have to say. All right, let the blind taste test begin. Uh, Richard, what can you tell me about the aroma and the appearance on this? Well, let's get with the uh, appearance. It's a really rich mahogany, um, dark orange. Um, if you're looking at it with, before smelling, you'd be like, you'd probably just think amber right off the bat. Um, the nose, um, as we were talking before, I wasn't getting much, but after pulling a lot, I was getting some sort of like a soury apple. Okay. Um, not very pungent at all. I mean, really had to you know, inhale a lot to get a good nose on it. Pretty subtle, you'd say. Yeah, that oh, that's almost an understatement, though. <laughs> I mean, cause subtle, at least you, well, it's there, but you really, I mean, I had to put my nose in the thing and kind of snort some up just to get a little aroma. <laughs> hey, whatever, whatever you got to do. <laughs> Mark, um, are yes. you getting, like, similar with the taste? Uh, yeah, there's definitely a, a, a tartness um, that you know, Rich described as green apple, and I'm definitely getting that now. It might be the power of persuasion. But um, there's also uh, some alcohol in, in the flavor uh, profile as well. Very little hops. Um, so I'd say that kind of green apple tartness, uh, uh, maybe even a little kind of funky uh, barnyard character, and then um, some alcohol. No hops, really, to speak of. Okay, no, I can agree with that, definitely. And then, uh, Choops, what... Wait, can you agree with it because you already know what it is? No, I can agree with that just from tasting it myself. Right. Okay. Yes, but obviously, of course, I know what it is as well. <laughs> uh, Choops, what, what would you guess, if you had to guess, what the style of this beer is? Okay. So as far as the style, I think this might be either a sour brown ale or an... I don't know if I'm saying the style right, but a, an eau brune. Uh, so like a Belgian sour style, I think. Um, it's very pleasant, and uh, I feel that I've had this type of beer before. That's the reason why I'm thinking that that might be the, the style. Okay, I'll tell you it's one of the two. So mm -hmm. you are you are correct in one of the two guesses. So, okay. um, Rich, uh, what's your rating? And uh, tell me a little bit about the rating. I, I think it's a, I'm giving it a seven. Um, I, I like the beer, but I was, you know, given that it's very faint nose, and there's a stronger flavor than nose and uh, than the nose. You know, when I was thinking more of a cran apple thing where you get some sourness of, and some dryness from those fruits. Um, I have to say, I really like uh, Dave's guess of an Eau Brune. I think um, that's spot on. Okay. Um, but yeah, so it's a seven. I mean, actually, I'm enjoying drinking it. I think I'm just having problems identifying what I really like about it. All right. And if you think they don't, uh, I definitely recommend this. Okay. Good beer, just not, you can't really kind of put your finger on yeah. too much of it. And I think after the reveal, I'd probably buy a bottle and, okay. and have it at home. So. Okay. All right. Well, what are you thinking, Mark? I'm going to give it a seven also. Um, I think it's, you know, I like that green apple character, but there's some, I don't know how to describe it well, but there's definitely some funkiness in the nose that is a little bit off-putting. It's kind of like a strange barnyard character that you know is not that kind of prototypical horse blanket you sure. know, wet hay it's I don't know, it's a little bit off i don't want to say it's acetic but um there's a strange flavor that i'm getting or a strange aroma that i'm getting i don't get it much in the flavor profile and it's something that i would drink and uh recommend i you know i could definitely see the oberine uh, uh style as being okay. appropriate here this kind of sour brown ale mm -hmm. um, is that the pronunciation brewing 
I've heard Oud Oud Brew. Oud Oud Brew. Oud Brew. Oud Brew. Oud Brew. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. know. That's, yeah. I don't know for sure. Um, so, yeah, seven. It's something that, you know, I'm enjoying drinking now, clearly. And uh, I would probably recommend other people, but I wouldn't, you know, trade for this necessarily. Okay. All right. Um, how are you feeling about it, David? I'm going to give it an eight. And uh, I've, you know, said it time and time again. I'm very partial to sours. Mm -hmm. And um, so I think an eight will be uh, good for me for this beer. Um, just to add a little bit, I think what uh, makes it, uh, to me, a, a really good, you know, sour in the first place, it's very drinkable. And mm -hmm. yes, you can definitely get that green apple. And I'm getting a, a, a fruit called tamarind. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that fruit. Heard of it, yeah. I, I get that uh, out of this. And to me, that's a very, very pleasant uh, a taste. And um, it's easy to drink. And um, I'm not, it's not really killing my palate like a lot of sours would. Sure. So um, it's, I'm enjoying myself. Awesome. It's a good beer. Great. A any, uh, just out of curiosity, anybody want to take a, take a stab at what this beer is? Is it Monk's Cafe? That's a, that's not a, is that a beer? That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, uh, that, that's a restaurant. There's a dog down here. Yeah. She disagrees with that guest. No, I just farted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a, that's a Flanders Red, I think, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, um, but I, 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 I'm there's an Ode Brune I'm thinking of. I don't, I, I'm not sure the name. I just see, uh, I see a blue label with some yellow writing. So, that's that's it. It's not Duchess, right? I mean, that's also it's Flanders Red. You're thinking about Duchess Soap going yeah. there? Okay. Yeah. It's none of those. I, and personally, before I reveal it, okay. Um, I don't believe there's apple. Mm. I believe this is actually, they have cherries in this one. Oh. Um, and I love that there's something, especially for Mark and Richard, that there's something you can't quite put your finger on because I just think it's, it's uh, very uh, fitting for the name. We are having Enigma oh. from New Glarus. Oh. Interesting. Oh, this is one of their newer... Um, is this one of their newer ones? Oh, um, it's not necessarily one of their newer ones. They've brewed this. I actually reached out and talked to somebody from New Glarus they first brewed this back in like 2003, but they haven't brewed this beer. This is the first time they've brewed it since 2012. Okay. So it is a sour brown. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Um, I didn't get, and the re reason I don't want to say too much about the ABV is because the only place that I've seen that shows the ABV is Beer Advocate. Hmm. And Beer Advocate has it shown as 5.5. Oh. Which is pretty yeah. So I was, that's why I was kind of like, I, I, you know, I didn't want to ask too much about the ABV. So, I mean, as far as, you know, you said that on Beer Advocate, it's 5.5% is what it's showing up as. That's the only place that I saw what the ABV is, so. I mean, is there a way to check? I mean, like ABV on a beer that's already been made? Um, like you said, that was the only place. It doesn't show anywhere on New Glarus' site. Rapier doesn't have anything. I, I didn't know really where else to look for the ABV did on un, it. Did Untapped list it? I didn't even look it up on Untapped. I mean, I'll check. But, I mean, Untapped it's more user generated, so right. Um, but like I said, this I isn't this so. isn't something that they brew very often, and um, they even make promises to say, you know, when we brew this, there's no promises that we're going to mm -hmm. ever be able to brew it again. Mm -hmm. But it is brewed with cherries, and they have it in um, oak barrels. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I you know. Five. You weren't you weren't the only person to get a shipment from our friend in Minnesota. <laughs> you were being all like, "Oh no, I can't do the shipment thing." No, oh, no, I couldn't do the shipment. I could, at the time there wasn't anything he wanted, but then I talked to him like a week later, and we made a trade. Oh, okay. that's a conversation for the bathroom board. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Untap was giving a five and a half. Okay. Uh -huh. Also. Okay. So there we go. But. So, I mean, that actually goes with the style, though. I mean, uh, sour brown ale usually is not very high in alcohol. It's 4.5, mm -hmm. 5.5%, 5 .5 maybe pushing 6. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's supposed to be drinkable. Yeah, that's exactly what I get yeah. from this. Yep. So Enigma gets a 7.3 on the BBA scale. Uh, have you tried this uh, very exclusive beer? Uh, what other sour browns have you had in the past? Uh, definitely let us know in the comment section. Uh, again, I'm Andrew Lewandowski, and this has been your Better Beer Authority. Cheers, guys. Better Beer Authority.